In our previous video you saw how Bluetooth and Bluetooth devices work. In this video you will see about another similar type of technical device. In this video we will show you about the old fashioned device radio and about the invention of radio. If we talk about a few years ago, when very few people used to have television, or say that there was no television at all, then the radio was the only option for the entertainment of the people. It was the only means of entertainment for the people at that time. So, do you know who invented this important device radio? What is the history of making radio? And when was the transmission of radio started for the first time in India? So today you will know all these things in this video. Who is the first and true inventor of radio? At that time, radio used to be a major medium of media transmission. All the news of the country, the world and the entertainment world used to reach the people through radio and people were eager to hear it. Also, people used to wait for the radio broadcast programs in the same way as they do today to watch their favorite serial or movie on TV. In earlier times people in the village gathered at one place and eagerly waited for the program to be broadcast on the radio. But in today's modern times the usefulness of radio has decreased a bit. However, due to the change in the services provided by radio, even today radio remains a part of people's life, because now radio has been made easily available in broadband, tablet, vehicle and mobile as well. Many people made efforts for the invention of radio, but for your information, let us tell you that, in modern times, the invention of radio is believed to be done by Guglielmo Marconi. He is considered to be the originator of wireless wires, that is, sending signals without wires. He received the 1990 Nobel Prize in Physics for this invention. It was the year 1680, when for the first time many scientists and engineers thought about radio waves in detail, and guessed that there are some such waves which can be used for communication. Then in the year 1866, it was understood through some people that electric current variation is left in space in the same way as light and heat. Then after this, many scientists and engineers started searching for a signal from which a message could be sent. First Attempt to Invent Radio In the 1880s, Henry Rudolf Hertz discovered electromagnetic waves, after which the invention of radio helped further. After the discovery of his electromagnetic waves, Hertz also contributed to the invention of radio for many years. But he died before he could succeed. And this inventor of his remained incomplete. Then later his colleagues made a book on Hertz's discoveries, in which the old failed discoveries of this subject and the successful discovery by Hertz gave detailed information about electromagnetic waves. In order to advance Hertz's discovery in the future, Electromagnetic Wave Device for Radio Hertz's book was carefully read by experts from all over the world, one of whom was Jagdish Chandra Bose. The book had such an impact on Jagdish Chandra Bose that, within a few years, he made a device based on electromagnetic waves. In the 1890s, during a scientific demonstration, Jagdish Chandra Bose demonstrated by means of electromagnetic waves a bell placed away from the device. It was an incredible thing at the time. True Inventor of Radio Many people made efforts for the invention of radio, but for your information, let us tell you that, in modern times, the invention of radio is believed to be done by Guglielmo Marconi. He is considered to be the originator of wireless wires, that is, sending signals without wires. He received the 1990 Nobel Prize in Physics for this invention. Inventor of Radio Guglielmo Marconi was born in Italy. Inventor of Radio Guglielmo Marconi had a great interest in science since childhood. He was often engaged in various experiments of science. September 1894 One night, inventor of Radio Guglielmo Marconi went from one of his rooms to another and pressed the key lying there, after which there was a spark that was immediately followed by the bell rang the far away, and due to which inventor of Radio Guglielmo Marconi's place of happiness didn't stay. And after this success, 
he started working very vigorously on his research. Then on day one, inventor of radio Guglielmo Marconi placed the transmitter he had made on one side of the hill and the receiver on the other side of the hill. The receiver had the brother of Guglielmo Marconi to receive the message from Marconi's transmitter. When inventor of radio Guglielmo Marconi sent the message and his brother received the message, his brother started dancing on the hill with joy. Seeing this happiness, inventor of radio Guglielmo Marconi was convinced that his instrument was working. After this, inventor of radio Guglielmo Marconi successfully demonstrated the invention of sending signals without a wire from the device he built in London between 1896 to 1897, and people appreciated him. Features of Guglielmo Marconi's radio in 1897, Guglielmo Marconi was successful in sending radio signals up to 12 kilometers away. This was a very big and surprising thing at that time. And this made the name of Guglielmo Marconi all over the world. Then on the 12th of December 1901, Guglielmo Marconi did a great work, due to which the name of Guglielmo Marconi became very famous. On the 12th of December 1901, inventor of radio Guglielmo Marconi succeeded in sending the English alphabet across the Atlantic Sea by Morse code for the first time, after which the fame of Guglielmo Marconi was raised around the world. According to many historians, it was because of Guglielmo Marconi's invention of sending signals without a wire, as many as 700 people were saved in the Titanic accident in 1912 and in many other similar incidents, people were saved by sending messages via radio. Because of which this invention of Guglielmo Marconi proved to be very beneficial. Efforts by scientists to improve radio let us tell you that with the radio that inventor of radio Guglielmo Marconi had created, the message could be sent to only one person. But let us tell you that Canadian scientist Reginald Fessenden also worked on the invention of radio for many years and he also got success. On the evening of the 24th of December 1906, Canadian scientist Reginald Fessenden played his violin. Then the radio operators of all the ships floating in the Atlantic Ocean heard that music on their radio sets. This was the first initiative of radio broadcasting in the world. However, before this Jagdish Chandra Bose started sending personal radio messages in India and inventor of Radio Guglielmo Marconi in 1901 by sending wireless messages from England to America. But broadcasting or sending messages to more than one person simultaneously was introduced in 1906 by Reginald Fessenden. After this, that is, in 1906, people like Lee De Forest started experiments to make radio broadcasting more modern. After this, radio started being used only in the Navy for the purpose of sending messages as a medium of communication. Then after the start of World War I in 1917, the use of radio for any non-military was banned. Then a few days later, the world's first radio station was started by Lee De Forest in New York in the year 1918. But later the police got this radio station closed by calling it illegal. After this, in November 1920, Frank Conrad, who had worked in the radio department of the Navy, was legally allowed to start a radio station for the first time in the world and thus the ban on radio was lifted. After which advertising on radio started in the world in the year 1923. You will probably be surprised to know this fact about the radio that, in the beginning of using the radio officially, you had to buy a license of 10 rupees to keep the radio with you, although later this license was cancelled. History of Radio in India the Madras Presidency Club was the first to bring radio to India in the year 1924. The Madras Presidency Club did the work of radio broadcasting till 1927. However, it was later closed by Madras due to financial troubles. After this, in the same year 1927, some big businessmen of Mumbai started Indian Broadcasting Company IBC, in Mumbai and Kolkata. After which in the year 1932, the government of India took its responsibility and started a department named Indian Broadcasting Service, which was renamed All India Radio, AIR, in the year 1936. 
which later also came to be known as Akashvani. Radio broadcasting was a national service created by the government in India, after which radio stations were built for radio broadcasting all over the country and radio access was made to every corner of the country. And apart from this, radio played an important role in the independence of India. Let us tell you that when the broadcast of National Congress Radio was started in the year 1942, then Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi, who played an important role in the freedom movement, i.e., Mahatma Gandhi, the father of the nation of India, from this radio station British Leave India, was broadcast. What is radio? Those who do not know what a radio is, they should know what a radio is and how it works. Let us tell you that radio is an instrument based on radio waves and radio waves are a type of electromagnetic waves. The frequency of that electromagnetic wave is often in the range of 30 Hz to 300 Hz. Radio waves are generated by a transmitter, which is connected to an antenna. The device that receives these waves is called a radio receiver. This radio receiver has an antenna attached to it. Radio is one of the most widely used modern technology today. It is of many types, such as radar radiation, radio navigation, remote control, remote sensing, etc., all based on electromagnetic waves. Radio waves are a type of electromagnetic waves. The wavelength of radio waves is between 10 cm and 100 km. Radio wave is also man-made and radio wave can also be seen natural. Radio waves always travel in the same direction and their data transfer speed is less than that of microwaves. But it can travel a long distance. Radio wave has the ability to penetrate any object, due to which it can easily reach even in difficult areas. The best example of this is FM radio and mobile signals. In today's world, the use of technology has increased. Most of you must have heard about radio. You must have heard the radio on your mobile or car as well. So, this question must have come in your mind at some point of time that how does the radio work? So, let's get information about radio today through this video. In the olden days i.e., before 1978, People used to use the radio more and not only to know the latest news but also to know the score of crickets or to listen to any song heard through radio. But today radio is rarely used. The reason for this is that all the information found on radio, in today's time, people get through mobile, computer, television and internet. Work of wireless devices it is very difficult to understand this by looking at today's advanced wireless technology. Because these are very small and advanced components in the electronic circuits of advanced technology, which we can make a mistake in understanding, due to which it is a bit difficult to understand this wireless technology. Seeing such small and advanced components, the question arises in our mind that, how all these components work and what will be the contribution of all these advanced components in wireless technology. The question also keeps haunting us that how data can be transferred with the help of these small and incomprehensible components. Some of you know that, the work of transferring data is possible only through radio waves. Data can be transmitted and received only with the help of radio waves. But most people do not know how data can be transmitted and received with the help of radio waves. Most of the people do not know that how digital data information i.e., 0 and 1 is translated through radio wave. Today in this video you will be able to know that how digital information is kept in the form of 0 and 1. If any digital device is in a wireless connection with another digital device, then you know that both those digital devices are communicating with each other in the form of zero and one. That is, converting electric current in the form of voltage on and voltage off form to radio wave. In such a situation, we do not understand how our videos, photos, music and text are transferred in the form of radio wave. Modulation in electronic communication it seems very complicated to understand how these files are translated wirelessly. But if we understand this deeply, then it is known that all these videos, photos, music and text are electric current, 
which is converted into different forms and its output is taken. When electric current is switched on and off with a period of time, it produces radio waves at different frequencies, which is a very important component for wireless communication. But after that comes the importance of how Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, Internet and remote control vehicles communicate with each other and send or receive data. Modulation is used to accomplish all these tasks. So, about modulation, let us tell that, modulation is a type of process. Through the modulation process, we convert the electric signal into the form of a radio wave and add the data. But now the thing to be understood is that, how the data is added through modulation. Using the modulation process, the data can be transmitted in the form of radio waves in two ways. Of these two types, the first type is that by using amplitude modulation, the data can be transmitted in the form of a radio wave. Or apart from this, through another type of modulation, frequency modulation can transmit the data in the form of radio wave. Types of modulation in communication If we talk about amplitude modulation, then in amplitude modulation, the data is transmitted by increasing and decreasing the altitude of the radio wave. Let us understand this with an example. If we want to transmit the word reader shelf by amplitude modulation, then the computer interprets the character R of the reader shelf world in binary language as something like 01010010. That is, the character R is separated into 8 bits in the binary language and the binary code is different for all characters or numbers. Basically, a bit in this represents a variation of voltage. That is, in this binary code, there is a variation of the voltage 8 times. That is, voltage can be applied more or less at any one time. Due to this radio waves are generated at different amplitudes. Due to this variation, the character R gets transmitted. Actually, this process happens at the speed of light. Apart from amplitude modulation, if we talk about frequency modulation, then the number of cycles that a radio wave completes in a second is called radio wave frequency. When the radio wave is once up and once down, there has to be one cycle. In frequency modulation, data is added by increasing or decreasing the frequency. As you know, radio works in two types like amplitude modulation and frequency modulation. We hope that you have got knowledge through this video. In this video you have got a lot of information about the invention of radio. We will discuss in the next video about how the radio works. Stay connected with Reader Shelf for more such interesting informative videos.